Okay, hi everyone. So it's week six now, so that which means that next week is consolidation week, which is a bit of a time off for you all to work on your assignments, um, catch up on module activities, and recharge, relax, and do whatever else you'd like to do, work, etc. I also won't be available for consolidation week. If you need extensions, things like that, you can speak to my supervisor, David Jack Fletcher. I put his email in a previous post, but I'll post it again towards the end of this week. So this week is all about communication and communities. Last week we talked a bit about social capital um, in regards to the block and the way in which social capital can be a really excellent weapon or tool in fighting ignorance and advocating on behalf of a community. This week neatly ties into that by looking at the idea of um, how different forms of communication assist in building communities and fostering relationships between communities. So we can call this social capital as well. So social capital can be about building relationships with people, strong ties, weak ties, all of those sorts of things. So I think the, I think it's Macmillan and Chavez reading, I think from last week, was very interesting in terms of looking at social capital. So this week the task is to reflect on the experience of studying and communicating online. You can talk about it in regards to this unit, overall in your degree online or in another unit. Um, you need to post a, post a response to the following question, which is, is online communication an effective tool for creating community? I think it's a really interesting and really cool question. You probably noticed I make videos a lot. So this is one of the reasons why. I find communicating through text to you all, all the time, I find that I don't communicate emotion enough. So I, I feel like I make them off a bit abrupt when I'm more directing questions, like I'm more directing questions. If we're in a classroom situation, it wouldn't come off as abrupt. So I've decided to make videos more so because I feel like when you see my face and you hear my like intonation in my voice and how I speak and how I use my hands, etc., and how I smile and express things, you um, get so much more out of it in terms of the online community experience. What do you all think? Do you think we've created a sense of community? Um, the, did like the, the pop-up museum and mapping your learning community create a sense of belonging? Um, for me, I posted last week a bit of a personal update in regards to kind of a relationship ending and leaving, um, leaving that and moving, moving back and moving house really quickly, being really stressful. Something that I'm sure a lot of you have probably experienced before or got something similar. I was absolutely overwhelmed by the notes, emails and care that you all kind of responded to me with. I was so happy, it really brought a tear to my eye. I was just lovely. Um, it, I, I wasn't expecting that and it made me feel like I was part of an online community. So I wanna thank you all for that. And my answer, answer to the question is I do think that online communication is an effective tool for creating community, but I feel like an extra level of intimacy needs to be involved in order to create effective social capital. Okay, well, I'll leave it with you. I'm looking forward to seeing your responses.